conditional statements. So what we're going to talk about today is what is exactly a conditional statement. Conditional statement, all right, all it simply is, is a statement in the if then form. That's all it is. So it's just a statement that's in the if then format, all right? So what do I mean by the if then format? Well, if it rains today, then there is no game. Okay? So let's pretend we're talking about baseball. Alright? Baseball, getting out of the soggy field. So if it rains today, then there is no game. Alright? So, now when we talk about a conditional statements, there's something that I want you to make. Remember, conditional statements, we talk about conditional because it's in the if-then form. If and then then. So what I want you guys to do, when you guys write this example, I want you to make a box around the if and then. Make a box around if and then because you have to contain an if-then for it to be conditional. It has to be if something, then something. So the if and the then are never going to change. I like to put a box around them like I'm like, these are anchored in. They're never going to move. For it to be conditional, you have to have if and then. But now, there's going to be some other parts. On a conditional statement, we have the statement that follows the if, and then we have the statement that follows the then. All right? And the statement that follows the if is what we call the hypothesis. And the statement that follows, follows the then is what we call the conclusion. All right? So we have if it rains today, then there is no game. Hypothesis, conclusion. Now, rather than having to write hypothesis and conclusion all the time, we also came up with some letters. All right? And what we call this is P. We call the conclusion Q. All right? And the other way that we can write a conditional statement, or a lot of times we'll just represent one, is with the arrow. I know this looks really confusing. You're like, what? P, Q? But what this stands right now, P arrow Q is if P, then Q. That's what that stands. So when you guys see that, that's what that's going to represent. If P, then Q. Cool? Right? Okay. So what I'll do is I will give you guys a problem.